Hello, welcome to me and my golf TV and welcome to another course vlog. We're in Portugal in the Al Golf Pierce mm, at nice. Amandoera Golf Resort. Playing the Faldo course, which yep. looks really tough. We're gonna have a skins match. Mm, let's see what we can do out here. We're not sure how many holes we're gonna play. We're playing at the end of the day, so oh, maybe up until the life. I think six is what we would normally do. So, shall we see what we can do? Let's have a go, guys. Let's have a go. Enjoy. Okay, Mr. Primeman on the tee, 440 yards, par four, first. That's pretty impressive, isn't it? Okay, on the Faldo course. So, driver? Not, it is driver. Not three wood, two iron, anything like that? Yeah, driver, definitely. <laughs> right, I'm a little warm up on the range just over there. What do you guys think of the new outfit, blue and yellow? What do you think? Damn wind, he's saying. Well, All right, so, skins, then, 441 so. yards, it's saying. To the middle of the green playing skins skins is there has to be a winner on the hole if not then the uh, skin gets taken to the next hole if you're not aware slightly up the right hand side but that is fine so yeah if he makes a four here and i make a three i'm one skin up if he makes a four and i make a four then we are carrying the skins to the next hole where we play you, double skins. Uh, did you see what happened there? And we're not playing for money. No, has it hit the bank and come down? It hit something extremely hard and it shot over the left-hand side of the fairway. Oh, what? Ah. Yeah, it's now left-hand side. Of the... <laughs> come on, cameraman, you need to do your job better today. Well, you, were in, on that golf you were in the way then, so I couldn't see you, could I? Anyway, I'm left side of the fairway, in play. You were in the left-hand side it's of it. It's going about 80 yards. <laughs> it's going to be a marked what ball, that isn't hit? it? I thought that was all right. Just hit the rocks. It's, it was still left now. This is an easy one as well. Takes a little bit of a low cut down the middle. Okay, yeah, that makes sense then. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, you would have definitely hit those rocks there. Yeah. So we, the line is a lot further left than probably what we thought it would have been there. So Andy's ball has hit, pitched somewhere in here and gone all the way over here. Mine's in the fairway. 180 left, Andy. That was a interesting... Oh, should have seen that actually. So we're going seven iron. He's going change club. Yeah, it said it doesn't look that far, and it actually doesn't look that far. There's the flag just by the side of Andy's shoulder. Okay, ball slightly below the feet, wind slightly off the right. Lie making the ball curve to the right. Wind making it. Stay straight. Didn't see that at all, sorry. So that was, uh, yeah, short, left, uh, short over the bunker, slightly left of the flag. Okay, cool. All right, not bad. Oh, yeah, it's good. Seems a good strike. Yeah. So there's the flag, and Pierce, we have 100 and, about 147 yards to the flag. Um, Pierce going with a 9 iron. Yeah, slightly uphill, isn't it? Downwind and off the right. So not a full one. It looks a lot shorter, it's just getting used to these. Uh, I trust these yardages at the moment. Ball slightly above the feet, so balls ball might go a little to the left. Made him think about that one a little bit. Uh, this just looks so close. It does, doesn't it? Trust it, Pierce. I keep I keep edging down the handle. Struck it nice, draw it into the flag. Is it going to come down close? I think it's pretty good, I think. Yeah, it's about 20 foot right, the flag if it's pin high. Maybe yeah. slightly closer, hopefully the green all slopes this way to the it flag. It looks like it, I think it does. <laughs> okay, Andy down there, just short, I think it's obviously hit the slope and come back down. You can see what he's got, he's got to go quite a big slope. Not a great deal of work, a sort of a lot of room to work with, should I say. There's mine there, didn't slope down from right to left, like I perhaps would have liked it to. Right, a bit of pressure on him here to get it within a flag length, maybe. Played it nice. Oh, oh. Can you see where that is? No, but not good. <laughs> 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 Woo! On that one there, we actually did a, a Facebook tip the other day to how, how to play similar sort of shot, really get the club up and vertical very quickly to use the bounce. No divot at all there, just glided that across the uh, 
the lie. Lied it across the okay. lie. It wasn't bad, no. Yeah, take it away. Good shot. So Pierce likes to have a little walk down and use his feet to read the greens to see if his right foot is higher than his left or vice versa. So not sure what he's got from that one there, but not a lot. Not a lot. moving towards the hole, it's moving towards the left as well and he's left himself a little testy one there it was fast it was fast, it was, oh yeah, moved a little bit to the left, did it? not much mm, yeah, I pulled it a little we had a bibble and a bobble and ended up in the, coming in the side door great putt, <laughs> great putt, Pierce side door. <laughs> the side of the extreme middle Lovely putt there, Pierce. All halved, skins carried on to the next hole. Okay, and that was a rather nice up and down. It was a good very one. Impressed, that one. Yeah, very, very impressed. Very impressed with that myself. Yeah, they keep talking about it. All right, okay, so we've got 500 and 70 yards. Woo -hoo. Par five. Big one here, into the breeze. Landing area is saying, and he's going to go this bunkers here that we've got. He's going to go for the left hand edge of the left hand bunker. Uh, maybe he's slightly right of that. He's into the wind, so it's going to be a good three shotter, possibly. I reckon it is, yeah. You know, it depends. We don't know how much he can take on, but I'm going to go yeah. the safer side of that bunker there. So. Well, this is where I'm glad that you're going first, but I don't think it's going to really benefit if I were to see a better line because it's just not going to be reachable, I don't think. Exactly where he's hit it. Let's see what we get. Did you see it down, Andy? Yes, and it's uh, way short of the corner of the left bunker. Oh, really? Middle of the fairway. Safe. A little bit high into the breeze, that one, a bit spinny, but yeah. So I saw it down, which is the important thing. I know I'm safe. You are not going to see that one down, ladies and gentlemen. I heard something. I heard something, that means it's hit rocks. Rocks and bouncing around going. and bumbling around everywhere. Could be still going, that could. Right, okay. Ooh, interesting. He has got a three metal in hand, so he's not thinking about hitting in this area here. He's thinking about going in this area here. I normally would, but I just fancy hitting the fairway wood shot. Fancy. The fairways are so good. Yeah. I just want to hit the fairway wood shot. Okay, so I'm thinking that, I mean, look, it's going to be a really good shot, 270, to get it on the green. Could do, if you really rip it, but more than likely there's a chance of bunker, but he's obviously comfortable with his bunker play. I haven't found mine yet, I haven't even looked at it yet, so who knows, a bit of room, we'll have a look. It's a good shot, it's at the right. I say it's a good shot, it's a good strike. Is he going to make the bunker? I didn't see it down, Andy. Yeah, I'm not going to put the ball too far back. I'm going to let the downhill slope hit it low, but I am going to have the hook shape. Loads of green to work with, though. It's sort of it's an inviting yeah. flag for a hook, that is. Yeah. Big Go. shot. Get up. Heading towards that bunker there. I think. I don't know what I did with the strike. It's in the bunker. Felt so just short here. So mine actually made it to pretty much up, actually, you know, almost pin high there. Um, if you take a look where the green is pierced, just go and have a look at it in the bunker. Pin high is just there, so I was like 10 yards short, so quite happy with the result there. Got yours, Pierce? Pierce has got like a 50 yard bunker shot here. Okay, so Pierce has a pretty straightforward lie in the bunker there in the centre of it. He's got about a 50 yard shot all the way back up to the flag just here. So 52 degree, he won't be opening the face too much. Just want to splash this out, get it onto the green and get it rolling towards a hole. Go. And he almost did that didn't get any uh, release 
tricky shot from there really you've got to get the right amount of sand and uh, difficult to control the spin there the when you know when you when you get too much sand it's going to release a little bit more but it's not going to get the carry if you get not enough sand sometimes you can catch a bit clean it's going to go further but spin a little bit more so it really is getting the right amount of sand on those shots all right turning into a bit of a battle for me this hole is but that's not a birdie put long chance but after his last hole short game heroics heroics say that again this is a tricky long bunker shot gotta go it's gotta go it's not bad yeah not bad from there very tough when you've got a long bunker shot to get it right up to the flag but played it pretty good, got it on the top tier, which is good. He's in the in the box seat. Okay, good look at the hole here now. And the line he's got, he's got a bit of an upslope at the start. He's definitely going to move from left to right. And then level out a little bit towards the end. Huge greens at Amanduera here, this one's a massive one. A birdie, put the pressure back on me. He's got it, it's a good line, he's got it on a good line. It's tracking, it's tracking, it's tracking, oh my god! That was a good effort. My eyes go in again still. Did that not go in? It didn't go in, Pierce. I'm sorry. Wow. It was, it was a good effort though. It was going and then it went like this. The end. No. Right then, here we go. For two skins. This will be a bit of a blow. We actually did a skins game last night at the academy course. It was floodlit and a par three. It was brilliant. Backspin everywhere. Right, come on then, take these two right. skins, Andy. The two skins. Oh, didn't break. I that might have turned a little bit on that didn't one. Didn't break. It's okay. I'll give you that one. Yeah, that's fine. Take it away. You. you like holding those anyway, though, don't I you? Do like, I do like holding those. I don't okay. think. I don't like picking it up. Right then, that is the end of part one. Yes. That, what a beautiful hole that was. It was a it, we made it almost hard work. But anyway, it felt like a battle for me that did anyway. Some good holes coming up, guys. Post your comments down below. But down below, down below. What down do you below. think of the course so far? Um, we've got some monster holes coming up. Some big undulations. Some better golf and some birdies. And I'm going to take three skins on the next hole. Six hundred and seventy yard par five to come. By the way, something like that anyway. See you in part two.